Hello, uh, this is a video guide on how to host a Terraria server without using Hamachi. First thing you're going to do is uh, go to the Terraria website and get the software, which is by here. Doesn't matter where you save it. Right, there it is. Alright, you're going to need to unzip it to my drive really. I'm going to use my C drive. There you are. You can mess around the server configuration here but don't need to do that for this. One thing to take note though is the server port. That'll be important so if you want to copy that. Alright, then the most important part of uh, hosting Terraria server is forwarding the ports properly. Alright, if you know your local IP for your router, the type it in. Mine is 01. And your uh, uh, username and password for the router. Now, doing this varies from router to router. On mine, I have to uh, create a service first. And call it Terraria. Alright, I'm pasting your port, which should be 7777 for the start and finish. Alright. And mine I've got firewall firewall rules. Add that one I just created, which is there. Allow always. And to find your IP address, go to uh, run. Type in CMD. I mean IP config, just like that. And uh, yeah, well, if you're on wireless, it'd probably be a wireless adapter or something like that. Mine's an Ethernet adapter, and it's my IP version four address, which is 192.168.099. Yours it will be different. So that's what my uh, LAN user is going to be. Click apply. Apply. Apply again. Now uh, that should be the file. Um, file the ports forwarded. Go to your server. Start at the batch file first. Right, I'm going to create a new world, which is n. Uh, make it a small world. Call tutorial. Now choose your world, so it's 2 for the tutorial, so you type in 2, enter, enter for default, default. Alright, that's the server setup. So if you want to go, if you want to test to see if it will work, if you go to um, canyouseeme.org. Alright, uh, that will be different. Um, I'm not sure if I'll blank it out or not. But you type in the port for the server, which is 7777, unless you've changed it for some reason. As you can see, you know, they can see me. That, that basically means the server is running and there's a good chance to be able to connect to it. But on the off chance that it comes up saying, uh, you know, it can't see you, here's what you do for that part, which is where the problem most people have. Turn off, well, turn off or forward any um, port if you've got uh, another firewall running like Zone Alarm or VAS or something like that. Alright, if you type in firewall, you come to this view. Here, the Windows firewall properties. Make sure you turn all of these off. If you're going to stop hosting servers, good, good idea to turn them back on. But uh, just for convenience, again, it's set up you know, for you and your friends. Just keep it off for the time being. Press OK, that'll work. Just to show you what happens if these are on though, and like I say, you probably could forward all the ports through them, but it's a lot of hassle if you're just going to have it for a few friends. Oops. As you can see, it's not responding, so uh, there we go. That's basically because of uh, the firewall property. If you just turn the firewall off normally, that thing that will still happen. You have to turn all three of these off for it to work. There you go, one more time. 
there you go. And uh, that's it. The uh, server should be up and running as soon as you've done that.